okay now all the files and folders are uploaded to the web server right now if we open the browser and we start the website the installation wizard will appear but we're not going to do that because we need to take care of a security measure first so the database right now is here but we're going to change the database location so we go one level up we go to db folder which is outside web reach we go to the database folder of the original distribution we upload the file here so this is going to take a few moments and that's it commerce's mdb is uploaded to db folder outside web reach so there's a final step involved we go here to includes folder and we go to the desktop commerce to save folder we open includes and we open settings file in this file we have among all the things the information to link the database to the store as you can see here by default uh, database commerce to mdb is linked to the store but anyone know this and uh, you don't want to expose your data and information to an, an, a hacker or maybe a cracker so we just delete this line and we're going to use a dsn connection so we delete the first character which is a quote and we enable this line dsn connection we put here commerce to save we save this and we return to the ftp client go to includes folder and upload the modify settings so with this step we have just created a new link between the store and the mdb file the link is done now but by dsn so we have to go to web hosting control panel in this case is a helm control panel which is provided by commerce's hosting and is pretty popular we go to DSN, we create a new one, we select access, of course that with the power pack you can use um, SQL Server and MySQL as well. Next, and we enter here Commerce 8, the file is already selected here, so we click save. So the DSN is already created, right now the last step is to start the installation wizard so we open a new browser tab we enter the domain name and here we are the installation wizard 